So, to that end, I'd like to tell you about Puerto Rico. This is where I live. This is uh, a photo taken by my friend Chase, by his drone, and that is uh, Trace Palmas Preserve in Rincon. And I have not quite a view of that, but something similar to it. Um, Puerto Rico, how many of you have heard about Act 20 or Act 22? Okay, only a few folks. This is the most unbelievable deal that you can possibly get as an American. What happened is this. Puerto Rico had government. Government does what it always does, which is screw everything up. They started handing out welfare to everyone in exchange for votes to pay for the welfare. They floated one bond issuance after another, reached the point where they could no longer service the, the interest on the debt, and took a look around and said, we got to do something different. 40 per, having 40% having of the population on welfare is not a way to build an economy. So they passed two, two main acts, uh, two acts that are most relevant for what we're talking about today, Act 20 and Act 22. Act 22 is the Individual Investor Act, and it states that if you have not lived in Puerto Rico before, you can apply to the government for a tax exemption, and if it's granted, they give you a written contract where you get a 20-year exemption from capital gains taxes, short or long-term, on your worldwide income, and you get a exemption from taxes on interest or dividends from a Puerto Rican source. So zero taxes on all of that. All of you crypto guys should have moved there last year. I moved there th three years ago. Um, because I wanted to get out of the United States because I did not want to fund the war machine anymore. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Um, and I, was, I took a hard look at renouncing my citizenship and just heading out into the world. And then I heard about Act 20 and Act 22. Uh, I did the application, just printed it out, took five minutes with a ballpoint pen. It was $50 to apply at that time. And I think 100 or $150 to accept the tax decree. And I bought a one-way ticket to San Juan. I'd never been to Puerto Rico before. Bought a one-way ticket, landed. I said, where do the hippies and artists hang out? And they said, oh, you got to go to Rincon. So I went to Rincon. In two weeks, I bought a car and a house, put the house on Airbnb. And it's just pretty much been you know, roses and unicorns ever since. <laughs> so you can make as much money as you want. You can make $10 million on your crypto investments and you don't have to hide it. You can shout it from the rooftops. I made X amount, and there is nothing the IRS can do about it. The reason that this works is because <clears throat> under Section 933 of the Internal Revenue Code, Puerto Rico is specifically exempted from federal taxation. So they make their own, ta their own tax policy. Uh, you pay taxes to the house, which is called Hacienda. Um, and for years, this didn't matter. For most of Puerto Rico's existence as a US territory, it didn't matter because whatever the federal tax rate was, Puerto Rico would adopt the same rate. So there was really no, no uh, comparative advantage for people wanting to live in Puerto Rico. Um, yeah, we can do that. So Terry is really interested in moving to uh, it was really interested in ex exploring this Puerto Rico option, and we were talking about it quite a bit in the back. And I'm sure that uh, a lot of you folks have questions about this, and we thought that a good way to do this might... Jerry, come on out. Hello. Can you these Oh, whatever you like. All right. I'd like to cover something on Act 20. Sure, let's do it. Okay. So, <clears throat> interest or dividends from a Puerto Rican source being tax-free. This is, you, you have to understand that these pieces of legislation are, are really broadly written, and there's very, little, uh, there's very little detail to them. So if I loan money to someone in Puerto Rico at 30% and he pays me back, that's interest from a Puerto Rican source. So it is tax-free, okay? You can make loans to people, you can loan, you can have this company loan that company money to, to purchase real estate and then charge them an exorbitant amount of interest for it to go back. There's all kinds of things you can do. Where it gets really interesting is if <clears throat> you have a established business in the United States. Um, let's say, for instance, 
there you have a construction company in California. And sidebar, the book for, for you uh, TDV subscribers, the book that Jeff just referenced in the last newsletter, I wrote that book. And it has a lot of these examples and information in it. It's, the book is called Found Money, and it's, it's about relocating to Puerto Rico and, and the advantages that you can have. Anyway, California Construction Company, million dollar profit. You're paying $450,000 in taxes. Puerto Rico gets nothing. If you form an Act 20 corporation in Puerto Rico, get your Act 22 tax exempt. So you can set up captive insurance, you can bill your, your construction company for design services, anything that you want. That million dollars, so you cough up 40 grand, which Puerto Rico's completely stoked about because they didn't get any of that before. So now they have 40 grand, the other 960,000 you take as a dividend as the sole shareholder of your company. And now it is Tax for, that is a dividend from a Puerto Rican source, completely legal. Now you have 960 grand, and you don't know what to do with yourself. We go, wow, that is pretty cool. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is totally possible. And they, when you, if you are interested in applying for these benefits, uh, understand that they make changes to the legislation almost every year. The change that instead of having to have three employees for an Act 20 corporation, you only have to have one, and you can be that employee. Is this cool or what? Yeah. Do you have any immediate questions on uh, this part? Yeah. Am I dreaming? Is this a dream or something? No, this is real. And I've been reading about this elsewhere. And as Sam mentioned, I live in Orlando, Florida, where we are still under the auspices of the United States government. We do have no state income tax, and that's good. But what you're talking about here opens up a lot of possibilities for services, particularly. Yes. And many of us doing services, like for instance, if someone, oh, I don't know, say happened to be a speaker who uses a lot of poetry and maybe does a lot of poetry and makes people really think and laugh and does that like, uh, I don't know who, maybe Benny uh, would be able to do that. But instead of California, how would he or others that are in other places work that as a professional speaker, as a person who's presenting, and work that out so they could be in Puerto Rico and have the only 4% tax? How would you do it? Yeah. What would, they, what would someone like Benny or anyone else <laughs> in another state? Just, for, just uh, form an Act 20 corporation and bill the, your existing U.S. corporation for the bulk of your profits and just move it over. Would That's, you have to physically live in Puerto Rico? This is an important point. This is the downside, okay? I'm going to tell it to you straight. In exchange for this, you have to be in a tropical paradise for six months out of the year. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't believe it. And I'm a surfer, right? So I live in Rincon, which is the surf capital of Puerto Rico. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. My, 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 and I, we talk about this all the time. We wake up in the morning, there's an ocean view, and we make coffee, and we load up some boards, we go down to the beach, and then talk about, like, why would we go on vacation? Everyone comes to us. This is where people go to vacation. The lifestyle there is unbelievable. Yes, it's, it's not a third world country. Um, it's, it's like America light. The government is totally broke, but this works in your favor because they can't. One of the freest places I've ever lived. You can go to the beach and have your dog off leash and smoke a cigarette and drink a beer out of a glass bottle and no one cares. <laughs> you have no idea how powerful this is. And if you don't realize it, it's because you've grown accustomed to having Big Brother keep an eye on you where they're waiting for you to screw up just this much. Yeah. Okay, Sam, let's get uh, real on this because many of us are looking at that going, hmm, sounds interesting. We want to do it. And I think this is the main thing we want to do. We're not offering any financial or legal advice, et cetera. Check with the right people that know that. But I strongly encourage you to start studying. Look at Act 20. Act 22, get to know that in Puerto Rico, and think about how you could take your own business right now, what you're doing, and make it a lot of service. Even if you're producing a product, there's ways you can move around that, and it's all legal. Make sure you do everything legal. They got a lot of guns and stuff, and you don't want to mess with that. You want to do it legally, but look into this. So you're saying if someone's a uh, professional speaker like me, I'm mm -hmm. a professional speaker, syndicated columnist, doing these kinds of things, I could just structure it so that I have my corporation in Puerto Rico. Billing, software, service, and here comes your money this way. And the money comes to Puerto Rico, yeah. and it sits there, and uh, we pay 4%. Sounds like a real good... How does that sound to the rest of you?
minutes here. Matter of fact, uh, David will be back, and we're going to be right on time. I hear you got a rough MC at this place, too. So uh, <laughs> we want to make sure that we go. What would be the first step someone would take that you would uh, recommend for them to do? Read the book. Read the book uh, that, that, that when you hire somebody to write something. He uh, hired you. Yeah, commissioned you to do commission, it. Commissioned, thank yeah. you. That's the word. Yeah, read the, the book. name of the book again is? Found Money. Found Money. It's an easy read. It's only 50 pages. Um, and it really describes my experience of being boots on the ground in Puerto Rico. Sorry, is it found money or sound? Found. Found, as in F-O-U-N-D. F as in Foxtrot. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> um, one other on the thing time. that I wanted to mention, this is kind of shilling a little bit. Real estate is dirt cheap down there, and a lot of people have gone down to Puerto Rico after the hurricane to try and scoop up deals. And running an Airbnb, 20% of my recent uh, guests have been crypto guys who all of a sudden are very interested in moving down there and taking advantage of, of this incredible tax deal. Did you hear that? Crypto people are really interested in doing this because yeah. it applies to them. Um, so if you are interested in doing something like this, I would recommend getting on it because the good deals are going quickly and the deals are unbelievable. I am working on taking down a piece of property in uh, just north of Rincon by one of my favorite surf breaks that nobody surfs, and it's more land that I need, and I'm going to subdivide it. So if you would like to be my neighbor, my email address is my name at gmail.com. Send me an email, and I will explain to you what I And as Mr. Rogers saying, and you can be my neighbor. <laughs> and we have some questions back there. Uh, what about royalties from uh, novels or record albums or something like that? That I don't know. It, it would all depend on how you would structure it. I, I, I don't have a hard and fast answer for you. I know that those are not specifically mentioned in the, in the legislation. I particularly like what you said. The legislation is written very loosely, so that way we could roughly structure it something and still be legal. Yes. I like it. Another question. Is this only interested, uh, interesting for American citizens? How about European? It is primarily interesting for American citizens because it's the only break American citizens can get. Um, I do know that Puerto Rico is offering this to basically anyone. You would have to work out the particulars of being on the island for the six months. But actually, I, I want to say something about that because what I've found is that it's not so much that Puerto Rico wants to make sure that you're there, it's that the IRS wants to make sure that you're not in the United States. So if you did three months in the U.S., four months in Puerto Rico, and five months tripping around Europe chasing croissants, you're probably good. I'm not saying for certain, and I wouldn't advertise this, but I can tell you that nobody's watching. Do you know some legal and accounting uh, professionals that people could get in touch with to find out about that and that would know, here's what the law says, et cetera, in Puerto Rico? I do. I was on a panel. Uh, uh, you mentioned Simon Black. I was on yeah. Simon, Black's, uh, Simon Black's conference a couple years ago, and I was on stage with a guy who helped pen the legislation. So email me, and I can turn you on to a couple folks that I know. Okay. We have three minutes left, and we got another question from the microphone. I don't have a business right now, but do you think they'd accept something like network marketing or something like that as a business? I'm network sorry. Network marketing? Would they accept me? I don't see why not. Um, again, it's as you're you're good to go. And getting a service like, for instance, training on that network marketing, which is really important. So you're showing people how to sell your products. Huh? The advantages of what you have would really be particularly good. Another question, real fast. Beachfront property, so that's also unbelievably cheap? I would say it's unbelievably cheap. How cheap is cheap in quantified numbers? The, play, the, the first house that I bought was not, was not beachfront, but it is panoramic ocean view in a surf community at Las Breaks. It's three units. It was a 2-1, a 1-1, and a 2-1, and I paid $84 a square foot. What about safety? Puerto Rico has, I'd like to say that Puerto Rico has a crime problem like uh, may out of the bad areas of San Juan and you stay out of Detroit. Other than that, I've never had any concerns about anything. It's the, the people are generally very nice. It's, it's a very laid back place. Everyone's pretty happy. It's, very it's, good. it's easy. Um, a tech meeting in the media that about 30% of Puerto Rico still doesn't have electricity back. The grid seems in pretty rough shape. Are you 
Um, are you planning on putting in a generator at this subdivision, and what's the potential for something like solar panels? I just put solar panels on my place. When I got back, I had to run a generator for a month. Um, the power came back on, and I was already intending to uh, have panels. I had a company come out. They put a 5.1 kilowatt system with a Tesla Powerwall 2, backing it up, 22 grand installed, done. Don't have to worry again. All right. We only have a few seconds left, so Sam, uh, how does someone get in touch with you? They say, hey, I want to know more about this. How do they get in touch with you? So my email address is my name, Sam Wolanik. It's in the program at gmail.com. All right. Is this cool or what? Yeah. yeah, this could pay for your whole trip. All right. Sam, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.